guys and welcome back to my channel and the confessions of a shopaholic and who needs therapy i do so i've done a little bit of retail therapy today and you know what it was so hard tracking these down because they've literally sold out everywhere and i had to so first i bought them and then i went in well my partner went in to collect them and they had sold out the pair that i had bought so i had to get a refund and write my name down for them to actually be able to let me know if they came back in stock and thank god they did so it's been a little bit of a nightmare getting hold of these because they are literally the hot sunglasses of the season and of course i'm talking about the prada symbol 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 right so i'm not sure how to say this because it's prada and it's like i feel like i need to put a twang on it but it spells symbol right so the prada symbol let's see <laughs> tell me if i'm doing it wrong in the comments um but yeah i went to sunglasses hut and i purchased these and here they are so obviously these come in a few different styles and colors so we've got the light uh, the white not the light the white which is light and we've got the brown tortoise shell and we've got the black i believe they're the three main colorways the style there is a bigger uh, frame and also the standard frame which is what i have here so these retail for um i got these for 284 pounds but they do i think i believe the price has gone up now so i think they're around 300 315 ish um now even on the website but they are selling out like this honestly it's been they've been in stock then you blink and they're out of stock so i'm super happy that i managed to get my hands on them because they are literally the hot topic of the summer right now so um obviously like i said i've got the black and dark gray it says they're the black and dark gray and they are the pr 17 ws so when searching for these online instead of putting in the prada symbol you put in the pr 17 ws that was the easiest way for me to find them and see where they were in stock but let's get to the fun part so they obviously come in their standard wrapping and we have let's fling that over there we have the box here a lovely white textured hard box so great for packing away when summer is over which will probably be in like two weeks in england so we've got them here and cutely packaged we're just gonna unwrap this pull the glasses out see what's inside we have the Prada care slip with a QR code on the back. I don't know what that's for. I don't know why you would need um, instructions for sunglasses, but obviously everything comes with a little something. You've got the Prada dust cloth there, which will keep my sunglasses sparkly and clean, might I add, because for the price tag, you want them to always be nice. And we've got a little day pouch here, which is very padded. I love that to, you know, pop in your handbag nice and cute. So that as well comes with the Prada um, tag at the bottom. Not very secure there, but it's a nice design feature. Um, so put the box there. Now to the main moment itself, the Prada glasses. So this comes in a magnetic quite a sturdy magnetic moment and here is the queen itself i'm actually so happy about these because i thought they were so well designed like very architecturally designed just there was edges there was curves there was dimension to them and i loved that about them but i chose to get the black because i thought that was more versatile although I was swaying towards the tortoise shell a little bit. If I couldn't have got hold of the black, I would have got one of the others because I do believe they're a very, very classical style, but they're never, ever, ever gonna go out of style either. Just because of the way they're built, I just think they're very, such a staple piece, which I'd be happy to bring out summer after summer after summer. Check in with me next summer and I'll see if that's still the case though. Um, but yeah, they're just, the frame is super cute. So it's a very Y2K frame, um, but it has all of these, this edging to it, which I think really gives it that dimension, which I, I loved. It was just very, very elegant, designed well, edgy, not too, not too basic. Like when you look at it, you know it's a staple sunglass and I, sunglasses, 
sunglass. It, it's a staple piece and I thought that was what was really nice about it too. You've got the, the traditional Prada emblem there, the symbol, um, which is like built into the frame, but it's so not obvious. The light is perfect for this because look, you can see it there. But when you look at it, it's not too, like there's not edges everywhere. Um, it's just very delicately into the, the shape of the glasses itself. And you've got all the triangles at the top, here, here, you've got a little bit of that edging in the frame around the lens. And I just thought that was just so elegant. You've got the Prada Milano there, and that's embossed in, not, I was gonna say debossed, but it's embossed in with the silver. I do think, so I, I don't know if I mentioned this, I did buy another pair of the same glasses and they came and this had kind of flaked off a little bit so I sent them back um, it wasn't from sunglasses hut so I don't know what was going on with that they were from a reputable business I, I'm not gonna mention the name of it but um, I sent them back because I was like this does not look how I expect like a good quality pair of sunglasses to look but yeah so that might be a concern um, although I think if you're placing them and you're, you're caring for them in the right way I don't think you'll have a problem with that at all but yeah, they're very, very smart. Um, they're kind of like an easy sunglass with the shape. They're not very big, like look at me kind of moment. They're just very sophisticated. And the quality is really good. They're a plastic that's um, quite rubbery as well. So they've got a bit of a spring to them, which is really nice. Um, and the lens as well, it's a dark gray, which kind of reflects black on screen. But yeah, so that's what they look like. And now let's try them on. So this is the moment. And I adore them. I think they're so smart. They're so like effortless. Like, you know those girls, it's like the girl I wanna be. Like that, that, mm -hmm. don't, don't bother me, don't phase me kind of moment. They're just so smart. And I also like how like, I wear them here because I think here they're just not a bit of me but here they were just super smart and I've tried them on in the shop before I bought them as well and I loved this this was the moment that it's just so smart and sophisticated and just it's like a cool girl sunglass sunglasses I keep saying sunglasses if that's I don't think that's even a phrase and um, but they're just a cool girl cool girl glasses and yeah, I just really, really, really think they're a really good statement piece to have. I'm not much of a sunglasses person, although I think I can be. They're just one of those things where if I put them on during the day, obviously I'm gonna get the indents and I will either keep them on all day, never take them off, but I also like to look at things with my real eyes. So um, I love to have them a bit lower down. But I also think they flatter the eyes really well because I do feel like I'm looking through them, although you can still see the top of my eyes. And they're just very cool. Like, I just, I adore them. I think they're really smart, very, they would go with any look, any outfit. And I'm very glad that they suited my face. Well, I think they suit my face anyway. People may disagree, but I don't care. I buy these for me. So yeah, I'm in love. I, I'm very happy with this purchase all in all and yeah, I just think they're a very well designed, good price point, not a steep price point. They're an easy sunglasses. I don't think they're very, um, like they're not one of those sunglasses where you're very scared of like damaging them because of just, they're quite sturdy. And yeah, they're one of those ones that you stick in your collection and you're like, yeah, I love them. I, I can reach for them. I can wear them with pretty much anything. And people will always know that she is a moment like she's abs absolutely a moment in herself and this is why they call therapy retail therapy <laughs> and it's very very good because I am loving this and I'm feeling really good about this as a purchase so retail therapy really worked for me this time they are selling out um, quite quickly literally everywhere I've gone Harrods Selfridges um, 
everywhere I've looked for them in person I haven't found except from the sunglasses hut so shout out to them because they were great they put me on a list called me up straight away when they got back in stock and we went and picked them up and I'm really relieved because I've there's a waiting list on a lot of places to get hold of them um but yeah they are definitely value for money and oh you can see my necklace really nicely through that that shows the power of the sunglasses um they're really good they're very easy just easy breezy sunglasses to have on and yeah for the price point like i said 200 300 they're not ones that you would regret buying in my opinion um and if you've had your eye on these and you wanted a review about them i would just say go and get them 100 percent uh fashion is about getting what makes you happy and if a really well designed pair of sunglasses does that for you go get them so that was my little conclusion of the prada symbol sunglasses and it's a big check from me it's a really good way of getting into the summer vibe and why not get yourself something that is iconic and these are absolutely iconic um, so thank you guys so much for tuning in. Do drop me a comment or let me know what you want to see more unboxings of. I've got quite a few things to share with you guys. I've had a stressful, stressful time at the moment and we've all loved a little bit of retail therapy. So yeah, who needs some therapy? I do. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I hope you love this little review of some of the retail purchases I've done and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Make sure you click the little bell icon, follow me on Instagram and I will catch up with you guys soon and I'll see you in the next one.